Say hello. Hello from the beach. Myrtle Beach. Here it's sunny and mild. Zephyr, you're right in the picture. You good girl. So Zephyr, tell us about Heartland uh, Fire, Fire Campground. What do you think? You like it? Are you having a good time? Yeah. Come on, face. You been to the beach? You want to go to the beach? You been to the beach? Yeah. There you go. That's a good picture. So, just off of Kings Highway in South Myrtle Beach, you will find Pyreland Campground. And we're going to give you a little bit of a tour of the campground and show you what we like, why we like it. This has been a campground that we've come to for, gosh, 40 years now. So, it's been around for a while. It's a locally owned campground, which I think a lot of the campgrounds in um, Myrtle Beach are. But uh, we're going to give you a little bit of a tour of some of the stuff we like about this place. This is the front office where you register and get your campsite. You can also have your mail delivered here. Monty, I tell people this is a snack bar in the arcade. Hey, hey, you're on camera. Something you don't see in most campgrounds and air station. So you can make sure your tires are pumped up before you leave and a vacuum. So you so behind me is the store and laundromat, and there is a recreation center with books and such. Probably some games in there too, for more for adults. But very nice laundromat, um, lots of machines. We were able to do all our laundry in what, about an hour, so it was really, really efficient and not too expensive. Uh, a very well stacked, stocked store with lots of uh, different items that you might need: um, souvenirs, groceries, camping supplies, and such. So a lot of good stuff that way. So definitely worth checking out while you're here. This is the pool area. They have a large swimming pool which is about four feet deep, um, a splash pool for younger kids, and a lazy river for adults and kids. So very nice pool area. And on this side, we have mini golf. So we've got an 18 uh, hole mini golf area right here that you can play. I don't think dogs are welcome on the course, so we would check it out a little more. And you don't need to have an RV to stay here at Pirate Land. They have plenty of rental units like these here, which are rental cabins that uh, sleep up to six people. And they have other units that are a little larger if you want something different. And these are all very nice and uh, reasonably affordable for a week stay for a family. This is where they have the panel boats. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So they're so they're closed for the season at this time. But over here in the background, they do have a spot where you can rent paddle boats, and you've got this little waterway around here, these little lakes that you can. Um, go in and paddle around. Um, a lot of people take advantage of these lakes and do and go fishing. Um, we, our neighbors are big fishers and they've been out every day and they catch little fish in here all, all the time. So it is good fishing here.
And of course everybody comes to Myrtle Beach for... The beach. The beach. Yes, exactly. And so Pirateland has some of the nicer beach areas here and we'll take you a walk out there and show you that. We like it here for that reason ourselves. Yes. And today is a kind of a supposed to be 80 degrees and um, a nice day. Mm -hmm. You take us to the beach. Show us your beach. Come on. Our campsite at um, Pirate Land. Um, it's got a nice little pond, or in our case, behind it, where ducks and geese and um, what are those things called? The white ones, the uh, white birds. Cranes. Cranes come to uh, swim and to hopefully get someone to feed them. Yeah, a lot of people fish here. Yeah. And our campsite has a cabana. which we have used a little bit, but mainly we use it to protect our bikes or in the wind and rain. But the nicer days we would eat outside. Right. Yep. And it's, it's nice size. Right now we're um, kind of sitting outside absorbing the sun for the last time because our weather at home is yeah. not that great. It's only uh, in the 40s and I believe it's rainy. Yep. So uh, hopefully the weather will get a little bit better at home because we plan on being home by the time Halloween comes, which is in three days. So, and we wanted to be home, or I wanted to be home by Halloween, just to um, I like I enjoy, or we enjoy giving out the candy and seeing all the kids come around. I'll show you the campsite from the other side. As you can see. It's pretty good size. There's a number of sites along here on the water. This campground has over a thousand campsites, so it's a very good sized park. All of them have water, electric, and sewer. Here's the cabana with our bikes.
hope you enjoy these videos on uh, Myrtle Beach in South Carolina and stay tuned for a series of other videos that of some of the things we have did while we were here. Um, we did go, like we mentioned, we did go to Broadway and the Beach and Barefoot Landing, um, Brook Green Gardens, Huntington Beach State Park. And so we've got some videos that I put together and share as part of a series on, you know, things to do at Myrtle Beach. So stay tuned for those and, and thank you for watching our channel. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, subscribe so that you get the latest videos. Also hit that notification bell. That will make sure that we tell you when we post a new video. And check us out on Facebook at one.zephyr.travels and on Instagram at zephyr underscore travels for latest content. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road.